If someone is outraged at SJWs, I have a hard time taking them seriously if they also regularly get angry when their favorite comic book character isn't represented the way they would like, while they proudly display a wall completely filled with comic book character memorabilia. Yeah, the validity of their opinions on the matter of SJWs is next to none at that point. When you care more about what happens to a comic book character than, for instance, whether children are ripped from their parents, or whether black people are targeted by police, or whether violence against transgender people has skyrocketed since Trump was elected, or whether slurs against minorities have also increased. No, none of that matters. What matters is the people complaining about those kinds of things, because to you, those are the people who are ruining everything, because my character, my beloved comic book character, anything you say negative about my favorite comic book character could result in something happening to my favorite comic book character that I really don't want to have happen. If you touch my favorite character, I'll say that everything you support leads to Stalin. It's communism. Be very afraid, everyone. Wait, I'll just say that regardless because you're complaining about something that doesn't affect me personally. And let me tell you, that line that Magneto says in that movie really affects me personally. I'm such a swafty. That's right. If you're neither white nor straight, and you complain about something that affects you because you're neither white nor straight, that's the road to Stalin. It's the road to communism. It's the road to evil, so make sure you don't complain. That comic book guy who used to be made fun of back in Simpsons days says so. Someone called a gay man a faggot? So what? That gay man needs to get a thicker skin. After all, I had the worst thing said about me. Someone said I had white privilege. And another person said they don't trust white people. I tell you, I was scared for my life. Another time, someone said that gamers are losers. I don't know if I can take that kind of rejection, especially if it's coming from women. Black people have nothing on what I endure as a white gamer every day. Don't say anything bad about my beloved comic book character franchise. Ranks right up there with a young teenager talking about their favorite professional wrestler. Which overmarketed superhero character do you like the most? Were they badass enough? On a badass meter of 1 to 10, where did they rank? Don't you feel more manly now? What really irks me is when people with comic book characters plastered around their rooms try to dismiss other people's masculinity. Like when they complain about guys who have blue hair, or guys who wear makeup, or guys who obviously have different interests than they do. Or when they try to declare that there's a crisis in masculinity, that we need to take masculinity back. Yeah, through the worship and hoarding of comic book character memorabilia? Yes, we should learn masculinity through the hypermarketing of superheroes, through comic book characters and professional wrestling. Brilliant! Buy and collect these products and you'll be more manly. No, don't have books on your wall that show that you care about the subject you concern yourself with so much, but show this huge display of all the thousands of dollars you wasted on kids' toys that you don't even play. Oh, I know, you're making investments. Yeah, in kids' toys. If that's what floats your boat, fine, but don't dismiss other people's masculinity if you're going to do that.